Truly, there are few guys as stupid as SVM Delta, but I wanted to unravel all of the idiotic ramblings and get down to the chewy caramel center of this two-armed whitey. What I found was not pretty. It was slimy and smelly and kind of stung my eyes. So Delta has me meet him at this fruity little marshmallow stand he always goes to. He kept me waiting for a good half hour and I actually watched him walk by the place three or four times before he finally came in. What the crap were you doing out there? Out where? Outside! I watched you prance by like five times, man. Oh, I doubt it. I drove. You don't own a car. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, let's get down to brass tacks. Oh, I didn't bring any. I drove. Ugh, this is gonna be painful. What, the tax? Try not to sit on them. No, stupid, this is an interview. Oh, well allow me to introduce myself. My name is SVM Delta, and I feel that I would be a great asset to your company. Okay, shut up. Now first question, what's your freaking problem, man? Well, if you take a look at my resume, you'll see that I have quite a bit of experience in different related fields. Cut the crap, just tell me what your freaking problem is. Uh, I can't really think of any. Ugh. Moving on, I've heard that you enjoy prancing around like an idiot. Is this true? I suppose that answers my question. Now tell us about your girlfriend, Tapioca. What's her deal? She told me today that she thinks your baking has really improved lately. Oh, my baking, eh? I do enjoy baking every once and again. Interesting. I'll take note of that. So what else do you do in your spare time? Well, I do like to play Minecraft sometimes and... Hey, wait! I'm asking the questions here. If you got this job, what could I expect you to bring to the company? That great new car smell. Huh? If you're all gaga over science news like me, you've probably been thrilled at the abundance of space shuttle photographs that have been circulating the internet lately. Every day I spend on Reddit, I seem to see several pictures of the space shuttle flying over something, and it's so cool. And in case you don't know, the reason that the space shuttle Endeavor is flying all over the country is because it's on its way to permanent museum housing. The space shuttle Endeavor is named after Captain Cook's ship of the same name. It has flown 25 missions and spent 300 days off the planet. It has completed 40 500 orbits. And now, safely in California, the space shuttle will make its way to the California Science Center. Now, in case you haven't thought about it, the practicality of getting a space shuttle all the way from an airfield across LA to the California Science Center, well, there's no practicality about it. The space shuttle has a 78-foot wingspan. The vertical tail fin is almost six stories tall, and they have to navigate this thing through 12 miles of urban streets. They're spending the next three weeks or so just preparing for the move. Also in science news recently, Sewer Epidemiology According to Kevin Thomas, an ecotoxicologist at the Norwegian Institute for Water Research in Oslo, at the end of the day, sewage is just a really big urine sample. So what's the problem with just asking people what kinds of drugs they use? Oh wait, they lie! So what Thomas and his team did was they went to 21 sewage treatment plants in 11 different countries in Europe, took samples, and analyzed what types of drugs the population were really using. And you would be amazed what they could tell from these samples. Not only were they conclusive, the results were near immediate. Thomas and his crew were looking for molecular traces of five drugs, cocaine, amphetamine, ecstasy, metamphetamine, and cannabis. This figure, created by io9, illustrates their results. Population normalized loads of amphetamine, metamphetamine, cannabis, and ecstasy, along with average estimates of cocaine consumption throughout the cities. Something that's really interesting about their study in particular is that not only can they tell what kinds of drugs are being used by people, they can also tell what kinds of drugs are being flushed away by the suppliers. For instance, a major drug bust in one city corresponded with a bunch of that drug washing up at a sewage treatment plant two days later. Now, Thomas is a little afraid of of applying this experiment to America. His reason? We have a lot of lawyers. But to be clear, this experiment is completely anonymous. Everything that is collected cannot be directed to any particular person or even a small area. The team is just using science to collect a large data sample of a particular population. They're not trying to get your grandma in trouble for her medical marijuana. A couple weeks ago, I posted a video saying that I was going to start watching Doctor Who and I was going to start recapping the episodes. I promise that is totally still going to happen, but the problem is, Someone else stole my thunder first. Hi, it's Linda Lee, and it's time for Linda Lee's Doctor Who Review. <laughs> okay, Linda Lee did not actually steal my Doctor Who thunder. I might just be using that as an excuse. I promise I will start that series eventually. Linda Lee Rose, although she's still just in preschool, has really latched on to this silly little BBC show called Doctor Who. So Doctor Who met the guy with, with, with the blue line on his face. He was an alien doctor. This guy was trying to kill.
kill him. Now, if you're not caught up on the current season of Doctor Who, know that there are going to be spoilers here, but I'm like six seasons behind and I was able to watch this and just be amused. When I catch up to this point, I'm not going to remember any of this. So there's a little girl that was in the hospital and she was holding one of these boxes, but her eyes was lighting up. Believe it or not, October is just around the corner, which means horror October. <laughs> Horror October, my project where I watch a bunch of scary movies and stuff and then I talk about them on YouTube. But here in the United States, we celebrate Halloween and other holidays way too early. So already opened at Universal Orlando Studios is Penn and Teller's Nuked Las Vegas. And that's exactly what we did. We nuked Las Vegas, we blew it up, it's all radiated, there's a tent over it, and it's still a fun place to visit. I freaking love Penn and Teller, and the thought of their own custom-designed haunted house. Ugh, yes. Awesome. I'm not a huge fan of haunted houses in general. To me, they all pretty much seem the same. But this is the 22nd annual Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Orlando Studios. And the last five years in a row, they've won Best Halloween Attraction in America. So, I have a feeling they know what they're doing. This is my favorite part, because this is where the guests themselves get to monkey with the other guests. Like, I get to the floor button here. When I push this, it makes the whole floor vibrate. And when I come over here and push this, it makes a little jet of air squirt out. I love that one. If you've missed my announcement of Horror October and you want to get in some suggestions for movies I should watch, click up there and leave a comment on that video. Finally, next week I will be talking about Reddit on five things. If you have any particular Reddit experiences or favorite threads you would like to share, please use the email address in the info or leave a comment below. I will share your stories on next week's episode. Very excited. The Reddit experience I want to share this week you do not need any Reddit experience for because it is in fact on the Huffington Post comedy blog. A favorite posting topic on Reddit is I came home to and then you know fill in the blank. I came home to find another man in my bed. I came home to find my kittens like this. I came home from school one day. I came home while being robbed. That plus 45 pictures of other things that Reddit users came home to like Ah ha ha! That does it for five things this week. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like below and leave a cookie or the food of your choice in the comments. Look for everything that I've talked about in a link dump in the info. Make sure you check out the Five Things podcast this weekend. Follow me on Twitter at Sean B. Martin so that we can chat, and I'll see you next week. Hey everyone, thank you for watching Five Things this week. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe above so that I can tell you about five things every week. If you really like me, want to check out my other stuff, I have three other channels, Five Things News, where I daily vlog, but not really daily, SVM Gaming, where I upload gaming commentary videos, and Chances Are Limited, where I upload drum cover videos. Sometimes I play the drums, sometimes I'm good at it. And more specifically, you can check out these projects on my left to your right. The Five Things podcast is up top. This is the story of Alicia's iPhone debacle. Rigamarole. Did you know that rigamarole, despite being pronounced rig a -marole, there is a shui in there that's an upside down e in case you never took linguistics class like this idiot did. Rigamarole is the way it's spelled, but rig a -marole is the way it's pronounced. That's really weird. In the middle, we have the most recent episode of Eli McManus' Private Eye, which is SVM Prime's alternative to SVM Plays the Sims. It is a noir-drenched, uh, Sims-soaked adventure in the big city. I don't know. It's his thing. And on the bottom, we have the most recent episode of SVM on Hermitcraft, where, like a true hermit, I leave behind everything that I know and venture out into the wilderness, for better or for worse. And that's it. Please check out those things, leave some cookies on them, and I'll see you around. Well, Delta, I'd like to thank you for coming in to interview today. Well, thanks. I appreciate the opportunity. Hey! What's going on in here? I'm giving Delta a job interview for assistant to the director. And you didn't tell me? What gives? It was listed on Munster.com. Munster.com. It's a ripoff. Cheaper premiums. <laughs> Whatever. Take your job and shove it. I thought the position was for assistant director. No, assistant to the director. Oh. Well, now I don't know if I want it. <laughs> yeah, I do.